This video is on aspects of employee engagement in the context of mindfulness. So the main topic I want to start with is that of one of the pillars of mindfulness is intentionality or direction. Now I want to open this up because it's quite a big topic and the, the starting point is actually big the sense of direction or a direction into a big area. So in terms of employee engagement when one goes to work when one can actually as it were check in as one goes into the building on one's sense of direction, momentum, motivation to engage fully and completely and wholeheartedly in what you do, the detail of what you do. So this is in a way a big picture direction. It's about being wholehearted in what you do in the work situation. So the, the setting of big directions it has a sort of a number of different facets that need to be looked at. So uh, one of the facets is what I would call uh, the view. Is it worth it? Or, or po perhaps put a different way, uh, does this uh, have a sense of potential? Can it work? So you're, you're, you're coming into the company, you have a sense of where the company is going, where your department is going, the things that you're uh, all aiming to achieve. Uh, can it work? Is it uh, something that you think can work? And I think this is quite a sort of important view to, to question. If you're doing something and you have no confidence in the view that it can work, then in a way that will affect your uh, emotional and practical engagement with it. Part of you will, know, well, will think, well, what's the point? It's not going to work anyway. Uh, but if you think, oh, well, this has value and it will work, those two things together give motivation. So if you have a sense of what you're doing or what your department or what your team is doing can actually progress, can develop, uh, work through difficulties, achieve something. That's the first thing. And that, that what that you achieve has real value. That's the second thing, that it matters. It makes a difference. So this is the big picture direction has this sense of can it work and secondly will it make a difference? Does it matter? Does it have value? Will it help people? Will it help the world? And I think that it's very useful to reflect on this, these two things. Uh, and to come over time into your relationship to the answers. I mean, if you feel that uh, it won't work, then maybe you have to talk with people. <laughs> you have to talk with people in uh, your team, maybe talk to your manager. Uh, talk about this and ask them what they think about this. They might have quite a different view uh, they might think, well, yeah, it's, we're obviously having difficulties now, but we can do this as a team. We can manage this. And they can sort of help you come to the view that it can work. And that together, as a team, uh, as a department, that you can all be effective. And then there's the other aspect of in a way, does this have value? Does it matter? What's, the, what's it worth? And again, if you have doubts about that, then I would say talk to your manager 
or talk to someone, don't be shy about expressing the fact that you have doubts about this because it's so central, it's so important that it, uh, if, if people don't talk about it, then uh, you know, nothing progresses because there's no feeling for that it's worth it. So again, uh, your manager will be able to say, yeah, this is, this is really worth it. It makes this difference, that difference. They have a perspective uh, that perhaps that you don't have and that they are able to communicate to you that even if you're doing a little thing, it has big implications in the bigger picture. It leads to other people being able to do things and them doing things that help other people. And the, that helps the situation uh, and it's worth it. It actually has value overall. So the reason why these two things, that uh, it's possible and it can work and that it, it matters, then aligns your sort of thinking and your emotions uh, and your instinct to be helpful, as it were, all in the same direction. So you, then you have a sense of you going in a direction. Uh, and the direction initially is to engage with the work as wholeheartedly, completely and fully with as much energy and clarity as you can. So your, your foundation of the, the view that it can work and, that it, and the value that it matters allows you then to find out for yourself uh, the, the things that you can do that can work. So even if you're, you're doing a little task, part of the perspective of the uh, direction is you see the implication, you see the relevance of the task that you're doing, whether it's doing something in the office with schedules or uh, figures, you see that that microcosmic thing has rel relationship to the macrocosmic thing and that it helps the whole thing so that it's, it, it can work, it can help the whole thing and it, it has value even though it might seem like a, a little thing and even relatively boring or even uh, tedious. So what this does is having the, the, the big direction puts one's own feelings about the work in perspective. This is boring becomes, yes, it's boring, but it's worth it because it makes a difference. So in that way, the bigger picture uh, and the bigger direction has direct relationship to uh, detailed uh, intentions. So you might sit down and you have a morning's work on something and you, your intention is to do that work, to wholeheartedly get involved in it, use your thought, you know, and be there with it. Uh, and that is in the context of the bigger picture and the bigger direction. So there's a, always a relationship between, in mindfulness, uh, between the bigger picture and the smaller picture or detail. Mindfulness actually is what brings them together, integrates them. So mindfulness isn't just aware of what you're doing. It's mindful of the bigger picture and the relevance and the implications of what you're doing in, in something much bigger. So mindfulness uh, contains uh, a, a sense of perspective, your relationship to others, for example, your relationship to what they're doing and the value that what they're doing also has value. And so there's a coming together of well, what they're doing could work and has value, what you're doing can work and has value and they come together. All these things come together to, for the bigger picture. So in that way, 
there is a, a sense of relationship between what you do and the bigger picture. So mindfulness is over time a sense of, as it were, going backwards and forwards. You have your detail of what you're doing, but you, you go forward, as it were, to the bigger picture. You get a sense of the whole picture and your place in the whole picture. So in that way, you keep the sense of, yes, this can work and the value, or the working with understanding that it can work and the feeling that it has value. So that might be the process of mindfulness, that over time you have the intention to, to, to be clearer that it can work and that it has value, and to really engage with the sense that it has value. So mindfulness here is a sort of all-encompassing thing. It's not just the sensation of your fingers on the keyboard. Uh, the fingers on the keyboard are related to the bigger picture. So in this way, part of mindfulness in the, the process of engaging at work is to be periodically bringing these two perspectives of direction and the detail of intention together to see that they're connected. 